This story begins by showing a high school girl named Song Ji. She's sitting in her family's car, holding a doll when something exciting happens. Suddenly, a good-looking young man named Jia Xu shows up, and he totally captivates Song Ji. Let's go back to the time when Song Ji was in 8th grade. During one class, she couldn't concentrate on what the teacher was saying, and it really annoyed him because he had warned her many times before. He threatened to inform her parents, saying they should come to school tomorrow. After school, Song Ji tries to figure out a way to prevent her parents from finding out about the school issues. She contacts her older brother, Song Yan, and asks for his help to meet her teacher. Sadly, he firmly refuses her request, which really annoys Song Ji. She's frustrated with her brother because he's in college now and seems to have forgotten how to help her when she's in a bind. When Song Ji gets home, her mom, Li Ping, is busy in the kitchen cooking. She wants to share everything that happened at school with her mom and ask her to come to the school. But before Song Ji can say anything, her mom asks her to take some fruit to her older brother, Song Yan, who just returned from college. Song Ji goes to her brother's room with the fruit and is surprised to find a handsome young man there. She wonders if her brother got plastic surgery. Soon Song Yan enters the room and introduces the young man as his college friend, Jia Xu. Song Ji, who just met her brother, asks him again to come to her school, but he keeps refusing, and they end up arguing about it. Since Song Ji doesn't want her mom to come to school, she asks Jia Xu for help. She wants him to pretend to be her older brother and go to school with her tomorrow. At first, Jia Xu says no, but after she tells him why she got into trouble with the teacher, he agrees to help. Song Ji becomes even more infatuated with him and follows him until he leaves, saying goodbye. A few years later, Song Ji, now in 10th grade, starts her mornings with breakfast before heading to school. One morning, her brother Song Yan, who just returned from college, announces that he's moving to a new dorm with his friend. This gives Song Ji the perfect opportunity to help him move and, of course, to see Jia Xu again. After school, Song Ji hurries to meet her brother and spots their family car with a doll in the trunk. Suddenly, Jia Xu arrives, and he's pleasantly surprised to see how much Song Ji has changed. When they reunite, Song Ji can't help but feel a bit nervous and excited because she's liked Jia Xu for a long time. To her delight, Jia Xu even gives her a doll, making her even happier. When Song Ji arrives at her brother's dorm, she scolds him for being so engrossed in his phone that he ignores her while she's helping him move out. But despite that, she's happy because she's warmly welcomed by Jia Xu and Song Yan's other friends. She seizes the opportunity to gather information about Jia Xu by asking Qian Fei, her brother's friend, if Jia Xu has a girlfriend. Qian Fei casually reveals that Jia Xu is currently single, which brings relief to Song Ji. After finishing helping her brother move, Song Ji returns home and spends time in her room, hiding the doll that Jia Xu gave her while reading a book. But she realizes that she left her assignment book in her brother's dorm. Luckily, Jia Xu steps in to help and returns the assignment book. He also contacts Song Ji, asking her to come to school early tomorrow to work on the assignment together. The following day, Song Ji eagerly waited for Jia Xu, and he finally showed up just as the school bell was about to ring. As an apology for being late, he gave her a bottle of milk, but Song Ji teasingly scolded him, saying he better not have a boyfriend. With limited time to finish her task, Jia Xu stayed by her side and helped her out. While they worked together, Song Ji couldn't help but keep stealing glances at Jia Xu. It reminded her of the times he had helped her back in junior high school. Once they finished, Jia Xu even drove her to her school, and when she checked her bag later, she found a piece of paper with a bouquet drawn by him. It turned out he had seen her less interesting essay in her assignment book by accident. On her way to class, Song Ji was greeted by Fu Zheng Chu and his friends who performed a dance for her as a way to show their liking. But Song Ji didn't seem to pay much attention to it. She wasn't really interested in Zheng Chu, even though he liked her. In class, Song Ji couldn't stop smiling when she saw the milk Jia Xu gave her, even though she was actually allergic to milk. Despite the allergy, she appreciated the sweet gesture. Later in the evening after returning home, Song Ji promptly stored the milk Jia Xu gave her in the refrigerator. She then went to her room and started working on an essay with the topic Jia Xu had given her. It brought back memories of their previous encounters, and she couldn't contain her excitement, especially now that she had Jia Xu's mobile number. She even started sending messages to him. One day, Song Nian and Song Ji got into an argument because they both wanted different lunch menus. However, Song Ji's excitement returned when she learned that her older brother would be eating with his friend. She hoped Jia Xu would join them too 
but she felt disappointed when Song Yan went to pick up Qian Fei instead. However, her disappointment turned into a smile when her brother surprised her by inviting Jia Xu to join them. At the mall, they'd all headed to the restaurant they planned to dine at. Before Song Ji could go to the restroom, Jia Xu discreetly informed Song Yan that she was menstruating. Both brothers rushed to buy pads and skirts for her. During the meal, Song Ji felt a bit embarrassed, but Jia Xu continued to be attentive and caring toward her. Before heading home, Chi and Fei invited them to play the claw machine. Despite Song Ji's continuous failures, Jia Xu stepped in to help and even gave her the doll he won from the machine. One day, Song Zi and her classmate, Shen Ru, decide to attend Zheng Chu's birthday party together. Before heading to the party venue, they make a stop at a cafe where they discover that Jia Xu works part-time. It's a surprise for Song Ji, but she can't help but keep an eye on him as he works. While at the cafe, Jia Xu kindly treats them, which makes Song Ji feel sorry for him, knowing he's working hard to earn money for his tuition fees. Soon after, Zheng Chu spots them at the cafe and invites them to the festive party location. Jia Xu, aware of this, reminds Song Ji to head home on time after the celebration. At the party, Zheng Xu gathers the courage to confess his feelings to Song Ji, but she realizes his intentions and quickly leaves the party. Zheng Xu chases after her to express his feelings, but unfortunately, Song Ji strongly rejects him, which leaves Zheng Chu in tears. Jia Xu witnesses this scene and immediately approaches them. As a result, Zheng Chu decides to leave, giving them space. Jia Xu takes the opportunity to talk to Song Zi and advises her not to date for now, suggesting that she focus more on her studies. He also reminds her to be polite when rejecting someone's feelings to avoid hurting their emotions. On another day of school, Song Zi notices that her friend Zhen Ru's attitude has changed. Zhen Ru seems distant and doesn't seem to care much about Song Zi. She wonders what might be causing this change in behavior. Suddenly, the homeroom teacher surprises her by appointing Song Ji to participate in the high jump competition representing their class. Even though she tries to refuse, her homeroom teacher insists, leaving Song Ji with no choice but to take part in the race. On the day of the race, Song Ji goes to register herself as a participant and is surprised to see her brother, Song Yan, and Jia Xu as the organizers. While she's tying her shoes, Song Yan playfully teases her, and to her surprise, Jia Xu puts on a hat, which catches her off guard. Song Ji notices the difference in how her brother and Jia Xu treat her during the event. When Song Yan takes a photo of her, she playfully jokes and says that Jia Xu is her older brother, adding to the fun banter. Sometime later, Song Ji takes part in a high jump race, but unfortunately, she faces several failures. During her last attempt, she falls and injures her feet and hands. Jia Xu and Song Yan rush to her aid. To avoid revealing Jia Xu's identity, they pretend that Song Yan is her father when a teacher recognizes him as her brother. Jia Xu carries Song Ji to the treatment room to get her injuries treated, and she can't help but feel charmed by his care and attention. However, when she returns to the field, she sees Jia Xu helping another female student who got injured. This sight makes her feel a bit jealous and conflicted about her feelings. The next following, even though Song Ji's leg hadn't fully healed, she still went to school. Jia Xu, being caring as always, took the initiative to pick her up when she left school. Surprisingly, Zhen Ru, who had previously ignored Song Ji, suddenly started behaving well and even asked Song Ji to accompany her somewhere after school. However, after school, Jia Xu waited for Song Ji at the school gate, but she didn't show up. Unbeknownst to him, Song Ji was with Zhen Ru, who asked her to accompany her to meet someone. Jia Xu panicked as he couldn't find Song Ji, but luckily, Someone informed him about her whereabouts, so he rushed to the location. At that moment, Song Ji was being bullied by a group of students because of Zhen Ru's actions. This incident left her deeply disappointed and angry with her classmate for putting her in such a situation. Not long after the group of delinquent girls left, Jia Xu found Song Ji looking frightened and immediately hugged her to comfort her. He invited her to take a rest and asked her what had happened. When he learned about the bullying, Jia Xu became annoyed and advised Song Ji not to be friends with Shen Ru. They talked for a long time, and then Jia Xu drove Song Ji home. In the evening, Song Ji, still happy to have Jia Xu's attention, wrote down the events of the day on a piece of paper, shaped it into a star, and stored it in a jar as a memento. The following day, when Song Ji returned from school, she was surprised to see Song Yan and his friends, including Jia Xu, waiting for her at the school gate. They had come to confront the students who had bullied her. Song Yan intended to teach them a lesson. 
after handling the situation and giving the bullies a taste of their own medicine, Song Yan and the others drove Song Ji home together. In the past, when Song Ji was in junior high school, she had a crush on Jia Xu. She was constantly amazed by his actions, especially when he showed her attention, making her like him even more. In the present, Song Ji continues her studies at school as usual when she hears that Zhen Ru has decided to change schools. Before leaving, Zhen Ru takes the opportunity to give Song Ji an apology letter for all the wrongs she had done. A few days later, Song Ji's parents, Li Ping and Song Rong, sit down with her to discuss her study plan after high school. Unfortunately, Song Ji is still unsure about which major to choose. Her parents ask her brother Song Yan to help her study harder and explore potential interests. Song Yan follows their parents' request, but teaching his little sister proves challenging, and they end up arguing and even fighting. <laughs> Concerned about their children's progress, the parents decide to hire a tutor for Song Ji. At first, Song Ji isn't happy with the decision. But when she learns that Jia Xu will be her tutor, she becomes eager to learn. When Jia Xu arrives with Song Yan, they take some time to play games together before starting the lessons. Song Ji appears to be waiting for them to finish playing. She even takes some secret pictures of Jia Xu, but he and Song Yan notice and playfully pose for a photo. After finishing the game with Song Yan, Jia Xu starts teaching Song Ji some subject matter. However, Song Ji becomes more focused on admiring her handsome tutor rather than paying attention to the explanations. As a result, Jia Xu has to repeat the material for her to understand. A few days later, Song Ji is excited to study with Jia Xu, but she notices that he looks exhausted from working elsewhere. She suggests that he rest while she works on some questions first, which he agrees to. Jia Xu takes a nap on the sofa, and secretly Song Ji covers him with a blanket, showing her care for him. After waking up, Jia Xu sees Song Ji sitting in front of him and assumes that she's being lazy. He immediately checks the exercise questions she had done. To his surprise, Jia Xu realizes that Song Ji actually understands the physics material he taught her, even though she admits that she doesn't enjoy the subject. Later, Jia Xu meets Song Yan and tells him about Song Ji's lack of interest in physics. In response, Song Yan plans to take his younger sister to the science museum to help her explore and learn more about the world of physics. He hopes that the museum visit will spark her curiosity and make the subject more enjoyable for her. On the scheduled day, Song Yan takes Song Ji and Jia Xu to the science museum, hoping to ignite her excitement for learning science. They'd all enjoy exploring the museum and participating in the interactive exhibits and games. Jia Xu helps explain various scientific concepts to Song Ji, making the experience even more enjoyable for her. The time they spend together at the museum brings joy to Song Ji, and she cherishes the moment so much that she even draws it in her picture book as a special memory. However, during their time together, Song Ji also expresses her concern to Jia Xu, asking him not to date anyone, as she worries he might not treat her as kindly if he does. After spending a long time exploring the museum, they head back to meet Song Yan to go home. Unfortunately, Song Ji accidentally leaves her picture book behind at the museum. Back at home, Song Ji realizes that she left her picture book on the museum bench and immediately contacts the museum to inquire about it. To her panic, she learns that the book was given to Jia Xu. The book contains personal pictures, including ones of her with Jia Xu. Feeling anxious, she wonders how he will react to the pictures. In the meantime, when Song Yan returns to the dormitory, he shares with Jia Xu that his younger sister claimed to be dating someone online, which surprises Jia Xu. However, Song Yan explains that Song Ji is just like any other curious teenager exploring romance. However, Song Yan feels uneasy about the idea of his younger sister having a boyfriend, and he starts thinking about ways to make Song Ji break up with this online boyfriend. The following day, Song Ji pretends to be sad and heartbroken claiming that she just broke up with her online boyfriend. She does this to make Jia Xu believe that the young man she drew in her picture book is not him, but her actual boyfriend. Song Ji acts distant and avoids talking to anyone, including her older brother Song Yan. Despite his attempts to persuade her to open up, she remains silent. Jia Xu is concerned about Song Ji's sadness and tries to ask her about her online boyfriend. To keep up the pretense, Song Ji makes up a story about her online boyfriend that upsets Jia Xu. She even considers contacting the man who supposedly made her sad. 
As time went on, Jia Xu continued to tutor Song Shi, and she showed significant improvement in her studies, with her school grades continually increasing. However, Jia Xu eventually decided to stop being her tutor, which saddened Song Shi, as she wouldn't get to see him as often. Before parting ways, Jia Xu promised to give her a gift if she achieved a satisfactory test score. When Jia Xu was about to bid farewell to Song Shi's parents, Li Ping invited him to celebrate Chinese New Year's Eve together. Unfortunately, he declined, citing other prior commitments. Instead, he helped Song Rong decorate his house for the New Year's celebration. Meanwhile, Song Ji secretly prepared an Ang Pao red envelope with money for Jia Xu as a token of appreciation and affection. She placed it in his jacket pocket, hoping to express her feelings for him in her own way. That night, Song Ji's family celebrated New Year's Eve together, and Song Ji finally got her cell phone back after it was confiscated by her parents when she claimed to have an online boyfriend. As she turned on her phone, she received a New Year's Eve message from Jia Xu, which made her smile happily. At the same time, Jia Xu, while playing a game, also received a New Year's greeting from Song Ji. However, his joy was short-lived as he received news about his father's worsening health condition. He immediately rushed back to Yida City to take care of his father's treatment. The next day, while Song Ji was playing with a dog outside her house, Song Yan approached her and gave her a gift from Jia Xu. He informed her that Jia Xu had returned to Yiha, which made her feel sad, especially since Jia Xu hadn't mentioned his return to her. Song Ji reminisced about the past when she used to ask Song Yan, who was away at college, to come home, hoping that Jia Xu would accompany him. Sometimes, she would be disappointed if her older brother returned without the young man she liked. This shows how much she yearned to spend time with Jia Xu. In the present, after receiving the puppet gift from Jia Xu, Song Ji contacts him right away and expresses her excitement about waiting for him to return. She tells him that she has prepared a gift for him once he graduates. On the other hand, a woman named Jian Ying visits Jia Xu at his house. However, he doesn't seem very welcoming towards her and rejects her offer to help with his father's treatment. When she mentions attending Jia Xu's graduation ceremony, he forbids her from doing so, and she only congratulates him from afar. Sometime later, Song Yan and Jia Xu, who had graduated, attended the graduation ceremony at their campus. Song Ji felt a bit shy but managed to present Jia Xu with a bouquet of flowers to congratulate him. However, she secretly decided not to give him the graduation gift she had prepared. During the ceremony, they captured the precious moment with photos, and to her delight, Jia Xu also invited Song Ji to take a picture together. It was a memorable and joyous occasion for all of them. In the evening, Jia Xu and Song Yan gathered with their friends to celebrate their graduation together. After the event, Jia Xu drove Song Yan home since he was drunk. Li Ping insisted that Jia Xu stay at their home since it was late at night. Song Ji immediately prepared a change of clothes for him. While preparing the clothes, Song Ji noticed that Jia Xu was sitting alone outside, deep in thought about his father's help. Concerned, she hurried down to accompany him and have a chat. She urged him to share his worries, and he eventually confided in her that he had a lot of debt. Innocently, Song Ji offered to help him pay off his debt, but Jia Xu declined her offer with a smile, stating that the debt was not her responsibility. Despite her kind intentions, he didn't want to burden her with his financial issues. After their heart-to-heart -heart chat, Song Ji couldn't stop thinking about Jia Xu. She wrote down her wish on a piece of paper and folded it into a star shape, placing it in the jar along with her previous wishes. While Jia Xu quietly left Song Ji's house, but she spotted him from the balcony of her room. He smiled and sent her a message, telling her to come to Yiha. As time passed, Song Ji, now in her senior year of high school, began to research college entrance requirements. She was determined to get closer to Jia Xu and decided to apply to Yiho University. With her dream in mind, she wrote it down on a paper and folded it into a star shape, showing her determination to study hard and fulfill her dream of being in the same city as Jia Xu. Once, while going to meet Song Yan in the kitchen, Song Ji overheard his phone conversation about Jia Xu having a girlfriend, which made her feel sad upon learning this. To confirm the information, she pretended to have been at the Yiha airport to meet her online boyfriend when she spoke to Song Yan. Song Yan, who panicked upon hearing that his little sister was out alone, sought Jia Xu's help to pick her up and ensure her safety. At Yiha airport, Jia Xu finally arrived and found Song Ji sitting alone. To her dismay, he was accompanied by a woman, which made her even sadder as she assumed he really had a girlfriend. Jia Xu was frustrated and annoyed. 
thinking she had gone out of town alone and lied about her online boyfriend breaking up with her. Song Shi continued to fabricate the story about her breakup, and Jia Xu tried to console her by saying she would find a good partner when she grew older. However, she couldn't hold back her tears, especially after witnessing the closeness between Jia Xu and his female friend. The situation was emotionally challenging for her. After purchasing a return flight ticket, Jia Xu invited Song Shi to eat while waiting for their flight schedule. It was then that Song Shi finally gave him the gift she had prepared for his graduation. She felt relieved when she saw that he really liked it. While Jia Xu briefly left to take a phone call, Song Ji took the opportunity to put money for the airfare into his wallet. Despite his reminder not to repeat this action, Song Ji didn't listen as she was heartbroken about Jia Xu having a girlfriend. She then gave him a doll as a symbol of their parting, reminiscing about the moments they shared in the past. It was a bittersweet moment for her. Arriving at the airport in her city, Song Ji immediately met her brother, Song Yan, who picked her up. She couldn't hold back her tears and sought comfort in her brother's arms, feeling heartbroken about her online boyfriend. Once she reached home, Song Ji rushed to her room and decided to pack all the items given by Jia Xu as a symbol of moving on from him. She had liked him for a long time, but now she was determined to let go and start anew. A few years have passed and Song Ji has grown up and achieved her dream of attending Hehe University. She has made good friends on campus and is enjoying her time there. On her birthday, she plans to celebrate with her friends at a karaoke place. At the same time, Jia Xu also happens to be at the karaoke place with his co-workers, and he is introduced to a beautiful woman. However, he notices Song Zi and decides to say goodbye to his friends early to get some fresh air. While outside, he sees Song Zi in an awkward situation, dropping a pack of cigarettes from her jacket pocket, which was accidentally swapped with her friend's jacket. Misunderstanding the situation, Jia Xu thinks that Song Ji has started smoking and drinking alcohol, which surprises and disappoints him. He also brings up her cold attitude towards him, as she never replies to his messages, despite living in the same city. When he calls her child, Song Ji shows her disapproval and rejects Jia Xu's offer to take her home. Recently, Song Ji decided to head back to the karaoke room where her friends were still partying. She wanted to swap her jacket but she didn't notice that Jia Xu was outside and had overheard her swearing while chatting with her friends. When she came out, Jia Xu scolded her and insisted on driving her home. During the ride, Song Ji acted cold, which made Jia Xu curious. But she explained that she was upset because he called her a child. She also asked about Jia Xu's job as a game programmer. When they arrived at Song Ji's dormitory, Jia Xu gave her a bottle of honey before they said goodbye. In her dorm room, she made a drink with the honey, and remembered how happy Jia Xu was when he found out she got accepted into Yiha University. Later, she received a message from Jia Xu reminding her not to go home alone. She realized that he had been sending her messages all along, but she never replied. On another day, Song Ji shared her love story with her roommate without revealing that she was the girl in the story. Her friends suspected that the handsome man she talked about might have a lover. On the other hand, Song Ji received a message from Song Yan asking her to invite Jia Xu to eat together as he always helps her. This made her realize that Jia Xu had been paying attention to her all along, even giving her gifts whenever she improved her grades. A few days later, it seemed like Jia Xu was having a meeting with his co-workers to discuss their upcoming game release. Song Ji also learned that the woman Jia Xu took to the airport a few years ago was a co-worker named Zhang Sai Yun. The scene shifts to Song Ji who finally mustered the courage to invite Jia Xu to eat as a way to thank him for all his kindness. When Jia Xu received her formal invitation, he playfully teased her about using formal language. Another day, after class, Zhang Ming, who seemed to like Song Ji, invited her to watch something together. On the other hand, Jia Xu received a package from Zhang Ying, but he didn't want it and chose to throw it away. He also sent her some money while asking her not to contact him again. Zhang Ying was upset by his response, as she had feelings for him, but Jia Xu preferred to focus on his work and didn't want any further contact with her. On the day they were supposed to be together, Jia Xu had to cancel because he was sick. Worried about him, Song Shi went to his house and helped him to the hospital. While trying to hail a taxi, they accidentally collided and he accidentally kissed her forehead. At the hospital, Jia Xu underwent a checkup and was diagnosed with appendicitis so he decided to have an immediate operation. Song Shi stayed by his side, looking very worried. During this time, she received a call from Li Ping, who told her about the challenges Jia Xu had faced in the past. 
After the surgery, Jia Xu was moved to the nursing room, and Song Shi stayed by his side, worried about his condition. However, Jia Xu insisted that she should go back to her dormitory for her own health. Reluctantly, she left the inpatient room and returned to her dorm. Later, Jia Xu couldn't help but think about the accidental kiss on Song Shi's forehead and wondered if she was upset about it since she became quiet after the incident. After reporting Jia Xu's condition to Song Yan, Jia Xu received a surprise visit from Song Ji, who decided to stay overnight and brought food for herself. She even helped him clean his face, which made her feel embarrassed when he looked at her. Song Ji excused herself to the toilet, feeling uneasy about Jia Xu's gaze. Later that night, as Jia Xu prepared for bed, Song Ji, who was sleeping on the floor, was seen playing on her phone. She accidentally opened a voice message from Zhang Ming, but was reluctant to tell Jia Xu about it. The next morning, Song Ji once again helped Jia Xu clean his face. This time, she avoided any awkward situations and quickly said goodbye as she had to go to college. Jia Xu asked for her help to bring some clothes and his laptop from home, and Song Ji agreed to do it after her lectures. Before leaving, she reminded him to take care of his health, showing Jia Xu that she had matured and cared about him. On campus, Song Ji bumped into Zhang Ming again, and he asked about their plan to watch a movie together. They agreed to go on the weekend. Later, she went to Jia Xu's house to gather all the items he needed for the hospital. When she entered his house, she felt delighted seeing their graduation day photo displayed on the table. Arriving at the hospital, Song Ji gave the items to Jia Xu and reminded him not to work late at night. Other patients in the room misinterpreted their attention, thinking Song Ji was Jia Xu's wife. They tried to explain that she was his sister, but the hearing impaired patient couldn't hear the explanation, so Jia Xu joked that she was his wife. Song Ji looked annoyed at his joke. A few days later, as Jia Xu was getting ready to go home, Song Ji was still upset about the joke he made as it touched her hidden feelings for him. When they got home, Song Ji prepared his medicines and took notes of the doctor's restrictions. Jia Xu watched her silently, appreciating her care. Eventually, Song Ji said goodbye and declined his offer to drive her home. Outside the apartment building, looking at Jia Xu's house, Song Ji realized that she should keep her distance because he only saw her as a sister all this time. She felt it was best to maintain that relationship. The next day at work, Jia Xu shared with his colleagues, Sai Yun and Li Xun, about how Song Ji got upset with him because of the hospital joke. Sai Yun thought the joke was too much. While they were talking, Jia Xu received another call from Jian Ying, which annoyed him, and he reminded her not to contact him again. Meanwhile, Song Ji went to the movies with Zhang Ming, who got scared by a chicken, surprising her. After the movie, she noticed the doll clip game that Jia Xu used to play for her and decided to give it a try. Although she struggled, she eventually won a doll. Zhang Ming also got a doll to give her, but after seeing her win one herself, he changed his mind and invited her back to the dormitory. One day, Song Ji found herself alone in the dormitory as her friends had gone home to celebrate the new year with their families. Feeling a bit lonely, she ordered some food for herself. Surprisingly, Jia Xu, who knew she didn't go home for New Year's Eve, reached out to her and invited her to eat together. At first, she declined the invitation, but after Jia Xu insisted, she eventually agreed to join him. In the evening, Jia Xu and Song Ji had dinner together at a restaurant, and Jia Xu apologized for the joke he made at the hospital. Song Ji forgave him, and they talked about her studies. Unexpectedly, Zhang Ying showed up and threw a glass of water at Jia Xu. Song Ji couldn't accept it and stood up for Jia Xu. Zhang Ying was rude to her, but Jia Xu intervened and asked her to leave the place. After the incident, Song Ji quickly took Jia Xu out of the restaurant and wiped his wet face to comfort him. As they left, they noticed that the first snow of the month was falling, so they took turns making wishes before heading home. When Jia Xu reached his house, he found Zhang Ying waiting for him and crying. She accused him of treating her cruelly and said he owed her a lifetime because of his father's actions that led to her father's death. Jia Xu recalled the painful memories of his family's past, and it triggered a panic attack. However, looking at a photo of Song Ji, he started to feel better and regained his strength to face life again. He chose to distance himself from Zhang Ying 
and focus on his friendship with Song Ji. Seeing the photo of Song Ji, Jia Xu regained his zest for life. New Year's Eve arrived, and they enjoyed the fireworks separately but still exchanged greetings. Jia Xu reminisced about his memories with Song Ji while sending her the greetings. Later, Jia Xu received a call from Qian Fei, who informed him about her upcoming marriage. He seemed happy for her, but was surprised when she asked about the woman he liked. Jia Xu found it strange that Song Ji crossed his mind, and he questioned why she occupied his thoughts. The next day, Song Ji messaged Jia Xu, saying she wanted to give him something. Meanwhile, Jia Xu was in a meeting with his co-workers when he learned that Zhang Ying had come to the office looking for him. Thankfully, the office security handled the situation. Upon hearing this, Jia Xu panicked about Song Ji's safety as she was on her way to his office. He was worried that Zhang Ying might do something harmful to her. He quickly tried to contact Song Ji, but saw her near the office building, so he rushed down to meet her before Zhang Ying could see her. When they met, Jia Xu asked Song Ji to inform him in advance if she wanted to meet him, but his words were misunderstood, and Song Ji thought he didn't want to see her. She felt disappointed but still gave him a surveillance camera to protect him from Zhang Ying's actions. In the evening, Song Ji hoped that Jia Xu would contact her and explain everything, but she was disappointed when he didn't. Meanwhile, Jia Xu was also thinking about her and messaged her to ask about her exam and flight schedules. Song Ji shared the details, but she was annoyed that he didn't explain his intentions during their office meeting. Sometime later after finishing the exams, Song Ji and her friends went out to celebrate. At the same time, Zhang Ming tried to show he cared for her, but she didn't notice. Despite being busy with work, Jia Xu always made an effort to send messages to Song Ji and keep in touch. Back at the restaurant, Song Ji had a bit too much to drink and ended up getting drunk, not paying attention to Zhang Ming's attempts to sing for her. Soon after, Jia Xu contacted Song Ji to check on her, and she stumbled out of the restaurant, wondering if he was coming to pick her up. Worried about her, Zhang Ming went with her outside. On the other hand, Jia Xu finally found Song Ji and Zhang Ming by the roadside and quickly took her away from there. While heading to the parking lot, Song Ji, who was drunk, ended up vomiting on Jia Xu's jacket and passed out, so he had to carry her. In her unconscious state, Song Ji mentioned liking someone who didn't like her back, but Jia Xu didn't realize she was talking about him and felt sad thinking she had feelings for someone else. In the car, he drove her back home, stealing glances at her as she slept. The next morning, Song Ji woke up feeling panicked after realizing what happened last night. On the other side, her roommate was busy talking about Jia Xu's handsome looks when he helped Song Ji the night before. A few days later at the dormitory, Song Ji was getting ready to go home, and Jia Xu had been waiting in his car to drive her to the airport. On her way to the parking lot, Jia Ming suddenly approached Song Ji to confess his feelings for her. However, Song Ji, who didn't feel the same way, remembered Jia Xu's advice to kindly reject someone's feelings. So she gently told Zhang Ming that she couldn't accept his feelings because she liked someone else. Despite being rejected, Zhang Ming still tried to express his feelings and even gave her breakfast for her journey home. After meeting Jia Xu, he hurriedly drove Song Ji to the airport. During the ride, Jia Xu asked why she was with Zhang Ming when she was drunk. Song Ji stammered as she explained what happened that night and Jia Xu thought she might like Zhang Ming. She tried to deny it, but when he asked about the type of man she liked, she became confused because she actually liked Jia Xu. Later, Song Ji arrived home and received a warm welcome from her parents, making her brother Song Yan pretend to be jealous. In the evening, she gave her parents a thoughtful gift for the new year, and she gave her older brother a pair of glasses. They all gathered to have dinner together. On another occasion, Song Ji kindly offered to help Song Yan with the fence lamp, and he realized she had something on her mind. When he asked, she requested him to go on a blind date and asked for Jia Xu's help to accompany him. However, Song Yan declined, saying there was already a woman who loved him. Late at night, as Song Ji was preparing for bed, she came across the safe deposit box with all the gifts Jia Xu had given her. Remembering what he said earlier about not minding dating someone her age, she decided to message him to inquire if Song Yan had a girlfriend who matched her age. Unfortunately, the conversation led to a misunderstanding, with Jia Xu thinking she only saw him as an older brother. Disheartened by the response, Song Ji began to believe that they couldn't be together. A few days later, Song Ji and Song Yan attended Qian Fei's wedding, where they also saw Jia Xu. He was wearing the tie Song Ji had gifted him and jokingly referred to Song Yan as a man, 
which amused his friends. Song Ji noticed a change in Jia Xu's behavior during the wedding. He kept looking at her, but she acted coldly towards him that night. When Jia Xu asked about the man she liked, she tried to hide her feelings and lied to him before saying goodbye to leave early. Jia Xu offered to take her home and gave her an angpao as a New Year celebration. He even used her nickname that was reserved only for close family members. This surprised Song Ji, and she became even more uncertain when he invited her to go to Yiha with him. Arriving home, Jia Xu surprised Song Ji with a beautiful bracelet as a New Year's gift, with her name engraved on it. She was touched by his thoughtful gesture and wondered if the gift meant that he liked her. Curious about the significance of the bracelet, she searched the internet for clues and found out that it could be a sign of affection. Excited, she shared the news with her parents and told them that she would be going back to Yiha with Jia Xu the next day. On the other hand, Jia Xu was also excited about the trip and went to great lengths to get plane tickets from the same airline as Song Ji. The next morning, he picked her up, hoping to see her wearing the bracelet. However, he was disappointed when he noticed she wasn't wearing it. Despite his disappointment, he kept his spirits up and they headed to the airport together, sharing the breakfast she had brought along. At the airport, Jia Xu ran into his old friend, Chen Kong, whom he hadn't seen in a long time. Chen Chong initially mistook Song Ji as Jia Xu's girlfriend, but Jia Xu quickly clarified that he wasn't dating Zhang Ying. He explained the situation to Song Ji, who looked curious about it. After Chen Kong left, Jia Xu assured Song Ji that he would introduce her to his girlfriend first. She also asked about the woman who was with him at the airport a few years ago, as she had mistaken her for his girlfriend all this time. Jia Xu chuckled at the misunderstanding and explained that the woman was just a co-worker and not his girlfriend. Realizing her mistake, Song Ji felt relieved and laughed along with Jia Xu. Later, Jia Xu accompanied Song Ji to Yihu University and even walked her to her dormitory. In a room, she shared with her friend Ning Wei about Jia Xu's changing feelings towards her. Despite that, Song Ji didn't want to get her hopes up, thinking their relationship would only remain as brotherly. However, Ning Wei encouraged her not to give up and pursue Jia Xu's heart. On the other hand, Jia Xu realized that Song Ji had lied about the man she liked, and he became certain that she liked him. He called Qian Fei to share the news and decided to continue pretending not to know her feelings. The following day, Jia Xu invited Song Ji to eat together, and she happily accepted the invitation. Ning Wei was excited to see her roommate going out with the man she liked. A few days later, after Jia Xu finished work, he hurried to pick up Song Ji at her dormitory. She had put on a beautiful dress and makeup, catching Jia Xu's attention. He took her to a restaurant where Sai Yun was waiting. Song Ji assumed Sai Yun was Jia Xu's new girlfriend, but to her relief, Sai Yun clarified that they were just co-workers. Sai Yun shared how Jia Xu had put an effort to meet Song Ji at the airport a few years ago, revealing his feelings for her. This revelation left Song Ji surprised and touched by Jia Xu's dedication. Not long after, Jia Xu arrived with his colleagues and introduced Song Ji as his friend, which surprised her because she had always introduced him as her older brother. After the introduction, he invited her to watch a movie together at the cinema. At the mall, they bought movie tickets and Jia Xu ordered a drink for her, not realizing it contained milk, which triggered her allergy. They had to cancel the movie plan and quickly get allergy medication. Jia Xu was concerned about her condition and tried to examine her allergic reaction which made her feel shocked and act a little oddly. After taking the allergy medicine, Jia Xu escorted Song Ji back to the dormitory. She kept scratching her itchy face, so Jia Xu held her hands to prevent her allergies from worsening. During the walk, she asked why he introduced her as a friend to his co-workers, but he didn't answer and instead asked if she really considered him as her brother. She couldn't answer the question and remained silent on the way back to the dorm. When they reached the room, Song Ji's friends saw her allergy and got worried. She excitedly told them about her first date with Jia Xu, which made everyone happy. Sometime later, it was Song Ji's birthday, and Jia Xu, who had asked her to come out, was waiting for her in front of the dormitory. As she came out, Zhang Ming suddenly appeared to wish her a happy birthday and give her a gift. Seeing this, Jia Xu quickly approached them and invited her to go with him. On their way, Jia Xu kept looking at Song Ji while asking if the guy she liked was someone like him. This question made her flustered but she tried to hide her feelings for him. When they reached the mall, they went into the cinema to watch a movie. Jia Xu noticed Song Ji looking a bit cold while holding her drink, and he wanted to help, but she politely refused. They had a little playful moment when their hands accidentally touched. 
Jia Xu teased her, asking her to warm her hands, but she didn't fall for the temptation and focused on the movie instead. At the movie, Jia Xu took Song Ji to his house, where he had a surprise birthday celebration planned for her. She was delighted to find a birthday cake that wouldn't trigger her allergies. When Jia Xu sang the birthday song for her, she was touched by his efforts. Jia Xu even expressed his intention to pursue her heart, but Song Ji still tried to keep her true feelings hidden. After Song Ji got back to the dorm, her friends surprised her with another birthday celebration, and she excitedly shared the news about her date earlier, making her friends happy. Before sleeping, she opened Jia Xu's gift, a camera, but got a bit embarrassed when she accidentally sent a picture of him while he was checking the camera. Soon after, San Yan also sent her a birthday message, and she told him about her dating plans. Though San Yan initially thought it was okay, he changed his mind when she mentioned the age difference with the guy she liked. He called her immediately to express his disapproval of dating someone much older. Despite the scolding, Song Ji remains determined and wears the bracelet given by Jia Xu. Ning Wei supports her decision to pursue her love for him. The next day, Song Ji proudly wore the bracelet given by Jia Xu, and her friends praised her for it. Jia Xu asked her out on a date, but her friend Ning Wei jokingly told her to play a little hard to get, so Song Ji said she couldn't make it due to a busy schedule. They eventually settled on a date for Wednesday night. However, on the planned day, Jia Xu suddenly canceled their date because of work, and he continued canceling the next few dates, leaving Song Ji wondering if he really wanted to pursue her. In the meantime, Jia Xu was caught up with a lot of work and also received news that his father's condition was getting worse. The doctor advised him to arrange for an operation. Visiting his father in the hospital, he was reminded of the accident that happened at his house a few years ago. On another occasion, Jia Xu finally asked Song Ji out on a date. Her friends helped her get ready and they had a great time together. Jia Xu apologized for canceling their previous dates and Song Ji forgave him, understanding his busy schedule. They enjoyed the date, making cotton candy together, and Jia Xu noticed she was wearing the bracelet he gave her. He jokingly said she's his girlfriend now, but Song Ji playfully denied it and asked him to work harder to win her love. One day, Jia Xu surprised Song Ji by visiting her in class. He sat next to her and tried to get closer to her. Song Ji, feeling mischievous, kissed his cheek, teasing him that she still hadn't accepted his love. After their class, Song Ji and Jia Xu headed to the basketball court, along with Song Ji's friends, to catch a student basketball game. During the match, Zhang Ming, one of the players, sustained an injury and sought Jia Xu's help to step in as a replacement. Without hesitation, Jia Xu joined the team and displayed exceptional basketball skills, leaving the spectators, including Song Ji, in awe of his game. As time passed, back in the dormitory, Song Ji and her friends engaged in a lively discussion about their upcoming summer vacation plans. Eager to make the most of her break, Song Ji contacted her older brother to share her intention of participating in a program in a company. However, her brother was not convinced and expressed skepticism, believing that the reason was merely fabricated to spend more time with her much older boyfriend, Jia Xu. Despite her enthusiasm, Song Ji was faced with the challenge of convincing her brother to allow her to pursue her summer program. On another day, Jia Xu was standing outside the office when he decided to give Song Ji a call, intending to take her out somewhere. However, to his surprise, he turned around and found Song Ji right there beside him, holding a birthday present for him. With a warm smile, she wished him a happy birthday and even expressed her hope for him to get married soon. Shortly after the two of them left together and during the journey, Song Ji asked if Jia Xu's colleagues in the office wished him a happy birthday. Jia Xu admitted that no one in the office celebrated his birthday. Upon hearing this, Song Ji immediately informed her brother about Jia Xu's birthday, and Song Yan promptly contacted Jia Xu to wish him well and playfully tease him about not having a girlfriend. During the conversation, Song Yan mentioned his younger sister's boyfriend, who happened to be much older, and that's when Jia Xu finally realized that Song Ji had been indirectly confessing her feelings for him all along. It made Song Yan happy but Song Ji felt a bit embarrassed and remained silent. After the call with Song Yan ended, Jia Xu playfully teased Song Ji about the topic, but she tried to avoid the subject by not admitting that she liked him. Upon arrival at the designated place, 
Song Ji invited Jia Xu into a beautifully decorated room to celebrate his birthday. Jia Xu was visibly touched and delighted to see her efforts, especially when he found out she had cooked a special meal for him. Curious about the food she prepared, Song Ji tried to play it off and urged him to step out of the kitchen. A little later, Song Ji served her homemade food to Jia Xu, feeling a bit unsure about her cooking skills, but he thoroughly enjoyed every bite. After making a birthday wish and blowing out the candle, Song Ji finally confessed that she had accepted him as her boyfriend. This answer was what Jia Xu had been waiting for, and he was moved to hear it. He couldn't resist and kissed Song Ji to show his happiness and gratitude. Later that night, he admitted that he still couldn't believe she accepted his feelings and shared more about his family with her. The following day, Jia Xu picked up Song Ji from campus and brought her to his restaurant so they could study and have a meal together. When they reached home, he suggested she study in his room, which made Song Ji feel a bit uneasy, especially with him staring at her. While having a meal together, Song Ji praised Jia Xu's cooking, which he appreciated. After finishing their meal, Song Ji went back to the room to study but ended up falling asleep and taking a nap. Suddenly, Jia Xu entered her room, and she felt startled, especially when he attempted to kiss her. She tried to avoid it, and he let her rest. In the evening, they went for a walk together, and Song Ji finally confessed that she really likes him. To her surprise, Jia Xu kissed her forehead and reciprocated the feeling, expressing that he also really likes her. After Jia Xu returned home, he received a call from Qian Fei who asked if he was coming to Yiha. Jia Xu happily shared that he had successfully won the heart of the girl he liked, which made Xian Fei rejoice. He planned to tell Song Yan about the news, but when he found out that the girl he was talking about was Song Ji, he decided to keep it a secret for now. Soon Song Yan also contacted Jia Xu, and the three of them had a group call. Song Yan teased his best friend, saying that the girl was unlucky to have him as her boyfriend. Jia Xu promised to introduce his girlfriend to Song Yan when they meet. While in the dormitory, Ning Wei was surprised to learn that Song Ji had been at Jia Xu's house. She jokingly suggested that something might have happened between them, but Song Ji denied it, saying that she still felt nervous when she was near him. On another occasion, Song Ji asked Jia Xu for a weekend date at a roller skating training ground. They had a great time together, and during the fun, Song Ji accidentally hugged Jia Xu and ended up kissing him. After the exams were over, Song Ji received the good news that she passed the internship interview, and her friends were thrilled for her. Meanwhile, Jia Xu was busy with his work at the office. The other day, Song Ji was getting ready to go to the office for her internship when her brother, Song Yan, contacted her. They ended up having an argument because Song Ji insisted on not going home for summer vacation. Song Yan wanted her to come home and not spend too much time with her boyfriend. Song Ji's friends tried to comfort her after the call ended. She decided to explain her situation and her boyfriend's identity through a message, but unfortunately, her brother had blocked her number, which made her feel sad. A little while later, Song Ji started her internship at the office and was introduced to her boss, Shi Xia Yu, who happened to be a friend of Zhang Ying, but Song Ji was unaware of this connection. She began her duties as an intern that day. In the evening, Jia Xu picked up Song Ji after her long day at work. He surprised her with flowers, making her feel excited despite being tired. They went to a restaurant and Jia Xu asked about her first day of internship. Song Ji shared her experiences and expressed her frustration with her brother's insistence on her going home. Jia Xu reassured her and promised to talk to Song Yan about their relationship when they meet. The next day at the office, Song Ji was overwhelmed with work, and Jia Xu overheard her boss scolding her on the phone, which made him worried about her. Xiao Yu seemed to have a negative attitude towards Song Ji and kept giving her more work even until late at night. Jia Xu learned that Song Ji sent him food despite being busy, so he decided to meet her. They met by the lake, and when Song Ji saw Jia Xu approaching, she hugged him to ease his fatigue. The following morning, Jia Xu, who was supposed to drive Song Ji to the office, 
fell asleep in the car while waiting for her. Sang Ji noticed his exhaustion and felt sorry for making him drive her, despite working late the previous night. On their way to the office, she kissed him, but they were unknowingly seen by Sta Yu, who later told Zhang Ning about it. During work hours, Sta Yu treated Sang Ji poorly, making her feel sad, especially when she overheard Sha Yu saying she didn't like her. In the evening, at a karaoke gathering with co workers, Sang Ji felt uncomfortable and asked to leave early. On her way out, she ran into Zhang Ying, who tried to speak ill of Jia Xu, but Sang Ji paid no attention to her words. While sitting alone, Sang Ji thought about Jia Xu's difficult past and felt sorry for all the pain he had endured, even though it wasn't his fault. Jia Xu later visited Sang Ji and she gave him a card, promising to treat him well. In return, Jia Xu was moved and gave her his wallet as a sign of trust. When they walked home holding hands, they were surprised to encounter Song Yan, who saw them together intimately. Song Yan became angry and didn't want to hear any explanation from Song Ji. After taking her to the dormitory, Song Yan confronted Jia Xu and physically confronted him for making Song Ji his girlfriend. Jia Xu tried to explain that he genuinely cared for Song Ji, and eventually, Song Yan felt sorry for beating him up. They both took a taxi back to Jia Xu's house, and during the ride, Jia Xu convinced Song Yan that his relationship with Song Ji was genuine and serious. Once they arrived home, Song Ji, concerned about her boyfriend, tried to video call him, but he declined and opted for a regular phone call, not wanting her to see his bruised face. Jia Xu reassured her that everything was fine between her and her older brother. The following day, Jia Xu picked up Song Ji when she finished work, and she was wearing a mask to hide the bruises on her face. Curious, Song Ji removed the mask and was shocked to see Jia Xu's bruised face. She immediately confronted Song Yan and scolded him for hurting Jia Xu. When Jia Xu met Song Yan, he learned that Song Ji was trying to protect him from Song Yan's actions, which touched him deeply. Later, when they all sat down to be together, Song Ji intentionally acted coldly towards her older brother because she was still upset, which made Song Yan jealous of the attention she gave Jia Xu. After dropping Song Ji off at the dormitory, Jia Xu couldn't resist stealing a quick kiss from her before she got out of the car. As he drove away, his heart fluttered with happiness, knowing that they were now officially a couple. However, his plans to take Song Yan home were thwarted when he discovered that his best friend was heading to the office for overtime. Determined to accompany Jia Xu, Song Yan hopped into the back seat, seemingly unaware of the little intimate moment that had just taken place. At the office, Song Yan amused himself with games while chatting with Jia Xu. To his surprise, Song Yan admitted that he had underestimated Jia Xu's devotion to Song Ji. He hadn't expected Jia Xu to be so caring and attentive, willing to sacrifice his own rest time just to be with her. It was evident that Jia Xu had captured Song Ji's heart in a way that made Song Yan feel at ease and less worried about his sister's relationship. As an older brother, Song Yan had always been protective of Song Ji wanting the best for her and shielding her from any potential heartbreak. But seeing how happy she was with Jia Xu, he couldn't help but feel relieved that she had found someone who cherished and cared for her so deeply. With genuine concern, Song Yan cautioned Jia Xu not to do anything that could hurt Song Zi or jeopardize their relationship. The next morning, as Jia Xu woke up, he was surprised to find a note stuck to his face from Song Yan, who had returned home. Curious about what it said, he read the message and realized that Song Yan had been back and had probably left him a friendly reminder. Shortly after, Li Xun approached Jia Xu and shared that he had seen Song Ji talking to Zhang Yang a few days ago. This news shocked Jia Xu, and he immediately confronted Zhang Yang to warn her to stay away from Song Ji. He made it clear that he wouldn't hesitate to report her to the police if she continued to bully Song Ji at the office. Protective of Song Ji, Jia Xu was ready to take action to ensure her safety and well-being. Later that day, when Jia Xu picked Song Ji up, he noticed she was in a bad mood. Concerned for her, he asked her what was bothering her, but she chose not to share the details, not wanting to worry him. In response, Jia Xu expressed his deep love for her and requested that she consider leaving the company if she continued to be treated unfairly. 
He wanted nothing but the best for her and couldn't bear to see her unhappy or mistreated. Their love and concern for each other were evident as they faced challenges together, and Jia Xu remained steadfast in his commitment to protect and care for Song Ji no matter what. Upon arriving at the dormitory, Song Ji received some money from her caring brother, Song Yan, despite their occasional fights. On another occasion, Song Yan impressed his co-workers by successfully handling a client cooperation at the office. In the meantime, Song Ji met Jia Xu at his new house, where he had prepared a special room for her. Although Song Ji worried about the cost of renting the house, Jia Xu reassured her that it would be their home together. Later that night, while studying in the dormitory, Song Ji felt hot due to a broken AC. She informed Jia Xu about it, and he immediately rushed to pick her up and take her to their new home. Jia Xu had even prepared dinner for them. Excited about living together, Song Ji couldn't help but express her happiness and excitement. Not long after, they were seen enjoying their time together playing games until Song Ji's hair got stuck in Jia Xu's shirt button. As she tried to untangle it, he surprised her with a sudden kiss. The next morning, Jia Xu woke up to a pleasant surprise, a breakfast specially prepared by Song Ji. She even left a sweet note for him, which he cherished dearly. Jia Xu also checked Song Ji's vacation schedule and began planning a vacation for the two of them. He researched different destinations that would be perfect for their getaway. One evening, Jia Xu returned from work to find Song Ji peacefully asleep on the sofa. He couldn't resist but covered her gently and kissed her cheek affectionately. The following day, Song Ji received a delightful surprise when a delivery of food arrived, thoughtfully ordered by Jia Xu just for her. Even at their separate workplaces, they managed to connect through a video call while enjoying the same meal together, and the distance didn't dampen their happiness in the least. Sometime later, Song Ji successfully completed her internship, and on her last day, her supervisor praised her and the other interns for their outstanding performance. Meanwhile, in Jia Xu's office, he and his co-workers celebrated their success in completing their work with excellent results. Later, Song Ji met Xiao Yu, who had treated her better recently, and gave her a gift as a gesture of appreciation. Song Ji also learned that Xiao Yu was a good friend of Zhang Ying. Feeling bold, Song Ji told her superior that she had no intention of taking someone's boyfriend, and even suggested that Xiao Yu advise Jiang Ying to see a psychiatrist to address the mental illness that seemed to be affecting her behavior. On the other hand, Jia Xu's hard work paid off, and he was recommended by his superiors to become the main programmer in their company, which made him very happy and proud of his achievements. In the evening, Jia Xu discussed potential vacation spots with Song Ji, who was about to go to college. However, she declined all his suggestions, expressing her preference for a camping trip instead. She didn't want Jia Xu to spend money on their vacation and believed that camping would be more enjoyable without the crowds at typical tourist destinations. Jia Xu agreed with her idea, but their plans were thwarted when it started raining on the day of departure. Not wanting to give up on their camping experience, they decided to set up a tent inside the house. During their makeshift indoor camping, Song Ji received an unexpected video call from Li Ping, making her nervous as she had to come up with a lie about her camping location. To avoid being seen by Song Ji's parents, Jia Xu had to hide during the call. Meanwhile, Song Yan, who knew that Song Ji was with Jia Xu, tried to trick his younger sister playfully. To make the best of their night, Jia Xu and Song Ji played some games they had prepared beforehand, enjoying each other's company even in the unusual camping setting. A few days later, Song Ji returned to the dormitory and noticed a design competition poster. Excited about the opportunity, she and her roommate Yu Xin decided to participate in the competition held on their campus. As the college break was ending, Song Ji returned to Shenzhen, and her older brother Song Yan was supposed to pick her up from the airport. However, they ended up having an argument on the way home. Song Yan was upset with Song Ji for being too romantic with Jia Xu in front of him, and he was also annoyed that Jia Xu had been persuading him to pick up Song Ji. After arriving home, Song Ji surprised her parents with her return, and then went to her room to rest. She immediately informed Jia Xu about her safe arrival, and they both expressed how much they missed each other. Unbeknownst to Song Ji, their conversation was overheard by Li Ping, which made her feel anxious and quickly hang up the phone. On another occasion, Song Ji was happy when she saw the items given by Jia Xu that she had kept as precious mementos. On the other side, Li Ping and Song Rong became curious about Song Ji's girlfriend and tried to ask her directly. However, Song Ji, who didn't want to talk about it, 
cleverly avoided the questions by pretending to look for Song Yan. In the meantime, Jia Xu seemed to be bidding farewell to his co-workers as he was going to take some time off to meet Song Ji in Shenzhen. At the same time, Song Ji planned to meet Song Yan with a bowl of fruit and try to be nice to him to get his permission. When he asked her what she wanted, Song Ji revealed that she wanted to come to the campus reunion with Song Yan so she could meet Jia Xu. Sometime later, Song Ji was finally allowed to join Song Yan at the reunion. During the trip, she constantly dressed up, which annoyed her older brother. He noticed her peculiar behavior in the past, which made him wonder who liked the other first, Jia Xu after Song Ji or vice versa. When they arrived at the hotel where Jia Xu was staying, he immediately approached Song Zi and hugged her, not minding Song Yan's feelings. They even deliberately sat on the back seat making out, which annoyed Song Yan as he felt like their personal driver. During the reunion, Jia Xu introduced Song Ji as his girlfriend to his friends, and Chi and Fei shared the good news of his wife's pregnancy, which led to congratulations from everyone. After the event, Jia Xu drove Song Ji home, and before parting, they shared a kiss. However, when Song Ji arrived home, her mother, Li Ping, seemed to have discovered their secret and expressed disapproval of their relationship due to Jia Xu's family background, despite him being known as a good young man. After the conversation with Li Ping, Song Ji felt moody but tried to act normal when Jia Xu approached her. He'd expressed his intention to officially meet her parents, and she agreed. During a walk, Song Ji subtly tried to hint that her mother didn't approve of their relationship, but Jia Xu didn't catch on. Unbeknownst to Song Ji, Song Rong invited Jia Xu to their house, expressing his concern about their relationship due to Jia Xu's family background. He worried that Song Ji might face difficulties because she had never experienced hardship before. Jia Xu understood their concerns but tried to reassure Song Rong that he would take care of his daughter. In the evening, Song Ji returned from a class reunion and was called by her parents to discuss Jia Xu's visit and the concerns raised by Song Rong. Li Ping firmly asked her daughter to break up with Jia Xu. Song Ji was taken aback by her parents' strong reaction and felt disappointed that they were being so insistent. She asserted that she was old enough to make her own decisions and was prepared to face the consequences of her choices. Feeling upset, Song Ji decided to retreat to her room to process her emotions. On the flip side, Jia Xu was at the hotel, working and feeling sad about what Song Rong said. Meanwhile, Song Ji felt bad for him, thinking her parents' words might hurt him, so she reached out to meet him. When they met, she apologized for her parents' actions, but Jia Xu lied and said he was okay to not see her sad. He mentioned he'd have to go back to Yiha soon because of work. Song Ji got frustrated, wondering if he'd really leave after talking to her parents. The following day, Song Ji met her parents and told them she'd go back to Yiha, because she wanted to keep her relationship with Jia Xu, even though they didn't approve. Upon arriving at Yiha Airport, Song Ji met Jia Xu, who had come to pick her up. As they drove, she couldn't help but reminisce about their past when they were in school. She confessed that she came to Yiha to meet him, even revealing that she had a crush on him since junior high. Song Ji mentioned the star papers she gave him as expressions of her feelings in the past. Jia Xu was touched by her honesty and feelings. She tried to convince him that he was a great guy for her, and to her delight, Jia Xu hugged her and said he wanted to marry her after she finished college. He even expressed his willingness to move and settle in Shenzhen for her. In the evening, Jia Xu was at home, looking at the paper Song Ji gave him, and it reminded him of the words she said about her crush. He felt guilty for not realizing her feelings earlier. However, Song Ji managed to convince him that he was the best man for her, and he confessed his deep love for her. Jia Xu was willing to make amends for any past mistakes and be a better partner. The next day, Song Ji returned to her dormitory, feeling very happy about the improvement in their relationship. On the other hand, Jia Xu decided to resign from his job because he wanted to go back to Shenzhen and start a business for Song Ji. Sometime later, Jia Xu went to the hospital to see his father who was in critical condition. He tried to talk to his unconscious father, expressing his forgiveness for past difficulties. Sadly, his father passed away soon after. In his time of grief, Song Ji supported and comforted Jia Xu. The next day, they visited Jia Xu's mother's grave, and Song Ji was introduced to her. She expressed her love for him and promised to take care of him. Their bond grew stronger through these challenging times, and they continued to support each other with love and understanding. A few days later, Song Ji and Jia Xu enjoyed a bike ride together. 
Jia Xu couldn't believe how much Song Ji had grown and how she had always been there for him. In the evening, while Song Ji was cooking, Jia Xu playfully hugged her and expressed how much she would miss her when he moved to Shenzhen. The next morning, Song Ji drove Jia Xu to the airport, and it was hard for her to say goodbye. Jia Xu comforted her before leaving for Shenzhen. Back in the dormitory, Song Ji studied with her friends, while Jia Xu started his new business in Shenzhen. He spent time with his friends and fondly remembered their college days together. Jia Xu proudly talked about his romance with Song Ji in front of his friends, including Song Yan, who started to support their relationship. On another occasion, Jia Xu visited Song Ji's parents' house, and they warmly welcomed him. They all had a nice meal together before discussing Jia Xu and Song Ji's relationship. After the meal, Jia Xu reassured Song Ji's parents that their daughter would not face any hardships with him because he had resolved all his family's problems long ago. He'd expressed how much Song Ji meant to him and how his life had become more meaningful with her by his side. Jia Xu also shared his plan to restart his business in Shenzhen. Listening to Jia Xu's sincere explanation, Song Ji's parents finally acknowledged his seriousness and gave their blessing to their relationship. Sometime later at home, Jia Xu contacted Song Ji to share the good news that her parents had blessed their relationship. Song Ji, in turn, excitedly told him that her design work had won a championship, and she would receive the award at the end of the month. She hoped Jia Xu could be there, but he explained that his busy schedule might prevent him from attending. Although disappointed, Song Ji understood and decided to accept the award on her own. On the day of the award ceremony, to Song Ji's surprise, Jia Xu also showed up. He turned out to be the representative speaker for the event. Song Ji was thrilled and captured the moment. When she received the award, the guests gave her a huge round of applause, making it a special and memorable day for both of them. Two years later, after graduation, Song Ji and her friends celebrated by having a great time at the beach. Jia Xu was there too, capturing all the happy moments. At the end of the day, in front of their family and friends, Jia Xu proposed to Song Ji in the most romantic way and she happily accepted his proposal. It was a beautiful and joyous moment for both of them, marking the beginning of their new chapter together. The moral of the story is to always bring an umbrella when going on a roller skating date to avoid getting caught in a kissing rainstorm.